For me, as a digital artist, Graphic Tablet is a must-have tool because it will definitely make your retouching experience, drawing experience much easier, faster and more convenient. So today I will do a review of Gaumon S620 Graphic Tablet that is budget-friendly and also perfect tablet for any beginner out there. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another tech review video. So this is a tablet, Gaumon S620, you can see it's small package, it's really nice box and let me show you what's inside. Inside the box, as you can see, we have first two cards, it's a warranty and welcome card and another card where it says where you can download the driver from. Then in this left compartment, we have the pen itself. Also we have the USB cable that is meant for connecting the tablet with the computer. Also we have two adapters for USB so you can connect these tablets to Android phones or tablets. That's another option and also we have this small like a pouch or I don't know sleeve for a pen. Then we have the tablet itself. The working area of the tablet is 6.5 by 4 inches and also you can use this tablet for so many softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, 3D software, ZBrush, whatever you want. Also a really nice addition is this glove that you get with the package and uh, this is amazing because it will help your hands if you have a sweaty hands to easier glide on the tablet so it's always nice addition. Then we have additional pins and also a pin remover tool and uh, then a manual and that's basically it. So as you can see this is a small size tablet you can see the size comparing to my palm and also this is really convenient especially when you're traveling because it's lightweight it's small and you can fit it in any bag out there. Comparing to my medium sized tablet, you can see the size difference is obvious and this is much heavier comparing to this one so the smaller one is better choice if you want to travel lightweight. Now let's talk about the build quality. This tablet is completely made out of the plastic like any tablet out there but it feels and looks like a really premium quality product. It's sturdy, it's nice, well, well built, also it has four rubbery pads at the bottom so it will not slip or move uh, on the table that's a big plus and also it has the four buttons at the front side and they are made uh, for uh, setting some shortcuts they're programmable buttons so you can set any kind of shortcuts out there uh, by default they're set for uh, changing the brush size selecting the brush tool and eraser tool but you can set it for whatever you want uh, the front side of the tablet we have USB micro USB port so you can connect this with your computer you need to go to Gaumon website and download the drivers and you're set to go. Only one downside that I noticed using this tablet for a while is are those buttons at the top of the tablet. They're really good, the quality is good, everything is good but they have a little bit space between the tablet itself and the button so can you hear it? they're wobbling a little bit so sometimes that can be annoying but you will not do this with a tablet definitely so on the table it's normal you will not notice that i only noticing when i'm moving this tablet around so that's only small barely noticeable downside that i have for the tablet okay then we have a pen the pen is again really nice pen well balanced good build quality it has a rubbery part a rubbery grip at the front it's really cool two buttons customizable buttons so you can set that for whatever you want and really nice feel when you're drawing with a pen on the tablet it's really nice like soft but still firm uh, feeling I really like it it's different than Wacom tablet but still this is really really cool the downside of uh, this pen is just that there are no pen holder either on some kind of a sleeve on the tablet or regular pen holder like like this like Wacom has a pen holder so you can put your pen right there and use it fortunately for me that's not a big issue because I have this I have my Thor Hammer pen holder so I can use this and I made this by myself you can go to my website and download the STL files if you have a 3D printer and just print this for yourself Okay, now let's connect the tablet with the computer and let me show you the software and how it works in Photoshop. 
Okay, this is Gaumon tablet software interface for S620 model. This is the tablet look. We have four customizable buttons. As you can see, we have bracket keys for making brush bigger and smaller at the top. Also eraser tool and B for brush tool, but you can set it for whatever you want. Just type any kind of uh, uh, keyboard shortcut here. You can even name, set a custom name for that key. And also you can use the combination of these buttons. This is the Windows software. It's really similar for Mac too. Also, and the second tab is for the pen. What I forgot to mention is that pen has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is more than enough for whatever you're doing, drawing, retouching, and so on and so forth. And also those two buttons are programmable, so you can again set whatever you want there. I like to have the front one for mouse right button, the back one, the second one for mouse middle button. This is how I want to do it. Also, you can set the pressure sensitivity here. You can change it as you can see and uh, set it to whatever you want. I want to reset it. This is how I like it. I'm pretty cool with this. And also you can test the pressure sensitivity here in this area. You can delete it and, and change something right there. Maybe you want something like this and now see how it works. It's definitely a lot different. So here you can control how the pressure will work. Also, you can enable window sync, you can go with the mouse mode, mouse mode, like this is behave like a mouse, regular mouse and game mode. Then we have work area. This is a really important part for me because I have two screens. I can choose which of the screens or it will affect both screens. So I want to go with this one. Also, I can set the screen ratio to my tablet to go with the screen ratio and to have a full. So between a full area of the tablet or just screen ratio, or I can just control this and make it smaller and uh, use just portion of the tablet as my whole screen. So I just want to have like that. Also, I can rotate the tablet. So this is this is convenient if you're connecting the tablet with Android device because you can use this tablet for Android devices, phone tablets, and maybe you want to rotate it like this and use the area of like the, the aspect ratio of your phone. So that's another way how you can do it. You can also rotate it completely backwards. I don't know why, but that's an option. And also we have about, and that's basically it. So all the things that you need, you have in this software. I will now press OK and go to Photoshop and I will create a new layer, right click and choose this hard round pressure size brush. So that means that if I'm firmly pressing on the tablet, I will have narrower stroke size. If I'm pressing harder, I will have more wider stroke size. So this is how it is. With just the pen pressure, I can control the size of the brush, which is awesome. And in a lot of scenarios, this can be really useful. For me, what is even more useful is this. If I go and choose this uh, soft round pressure opacity, I can control the opacity with the brush. So if I'm firmly pressing the tablet, I will have really transparent strokes. And if I'm pressing more harder and harder, I will have more and more opaque until I get to 100% uh, opacity with harder pressure on the tablet. So this is really cool and useful when you're doing dodging and burning, for example. So let's create like a circle and let me show you how you can really easily just by using the same opacity right here of the brush, just by controlling the pen pressure, you can make a 3D model out of out of a circle. So this is it. I can also make a brush a little bit smaller and go here. And just barely make this a bit brighter like that. Deselect and you can see I made a 3D ball out of the circle just by dodging and burning. And this this is perfect for dodging and burning. Also, let's delete this and let's go to this kind of style. Okay, let's make the brush smaller. It's perfect for drawing anything what you want. It's really good for straight lines, as you can see right there. So you can even write with this A, B, C, D, etc. So it's really, really cool for any kind of digital, digital artwork. So my final thoughts about this tablet. This is amazing piece of tech, especially considering the price. This thing costs only $39.99 US dollars. And for that amount of money, you will get the pen with 8,000 plus of pressure sensitivity. You will get the glove inside the box that will help your sweaty hands glide even better 
on the tablet and you will have overall drawing experience much better. The build quality is awesome, everything is good. Only drawback, only downside that I have is these buttons right there, but it's really minor thing that I have to mention. Otherwise, it's really, really cool. I really recommend this tablet to anyone who are just entering into a tablet world. So anyone who just want to switch from the mouse to the tablet, this is budget friendly, really good piece of tech. And also it's a small size surface. Uh, this is a personal preference. I personally like bigger tablets like this one, just because I used to draw with a little bit bigger movements of my hand, but I don't like even bigger tablets because then I need to move even more. This is awesome if you want to move just from your wrist and the majority of people are drawing on a computer just moving from the wrist. So this is amazing size for that. And also for traveling, as I already mentioned, it's small lightweight and just put it in the box. If you want to purchase it, you have the links down there in the description, check it out. And uh, one thing that I didn't mention at the beginning because I forgot, this is not a sponsor review. This is completely my own opinion. I got this from Gaumon, but I, I am not forced to say anything. I am not paid to say anything. I really like the tablet. I use it for several days, and it's really, really nice piece of tech. Okay, guys, that's it. If you have any kind of questions, leave it down there in the comment section below. Have fun, experiment, and see you in my next fun episode. Bye, bye.